to start off with the escargot outside the Vichy Soie, and I'll have the Chateaubriand and give me your finest vintage 1920s wine. Bottle, please. Yeah, two bottles while we're at it. Welcome to Body Bags. I'm your Friday reviewer, Chris, from Crispy Movies. You know my name is Chris, and you know I love B-movies. The movie I'm reviewing today, not a B-movie. You can either watch this one online, or you can purchase it, and I'm telling you, you can't put a price on a movie like this. Now, a lot of you people watching today, you're movie lovers. With me, when I watch a movie for the first time, I try to decipher if I'm ever going to watch this film again. And there are films I'll watch over and over and over and over and over again and never get sick of, and this is one that I will never get sick of. I will probably watch over and over and over again. It has everything you want. Fine acting, fine food, cooking, murder, you name it. Bring it all to the table, man. Yeah. Bring it all on that table, man. I'm going to scoop it up and I'm going to devour it. Oh, yeah. And this is what I love about the menu. It's not Ralph Fiennes, who's tremendous in everything. By the way, I'm a huge Ralph Fiennes fan. He plays Chef Slowick. He is the world's famous chef. Where all these people are going to go to a deserted island and go to his exquisite restaurant and spend well over thousands of dollars to eat his authentic, exquisite food. <laughs> uh, Nicholas Houlton's in it. He plays Tyler. And he's just a wannabe food critic. I mean, he's a guy who loves food, can appreciate food, uh, prefers the fine taste of food. <laughs> but by no means is he even close to being a food critic. He's just a wannabe, and he just... <laughs> His character is so hilarious. Now, he's supposed to bring this girl with him that supposedly appreciates food like he does, but you know, things happen, and now he brings Margot with him, played by Anya Taylor-Joy, which, if you ever seen The Queen's Gambit, uh, Night in Soho, you know she's tremendous. She's great in everything, and she's phenomenal in this film. She really steals the show in this one, along with Ralph Fiennes, of course. John Leguizamo plays a movie star. So basically, these, these couples, all these couples are going to the restaurant. Some have been there before and have left with no problems. <laughs> uh, very famous food critic, uh, movie star, like I say, John Leguizamo, Judith Light. <laughs> She, she's, a, she's a sweetheart. She's good at everything. I mean, come on. Who's the boss? Come on. I truly think she was. It wasn't Tony Danza. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, an older couple. Um, and a bunch of fr uh, these guys who are basically crooks. Uh, they stole a lot of money from a lot of people. And, and <laughs> the workers at this restaurant, including the chef himself, know all about it. Trust me about this. You'll see them in the context of the film. So they're all going to get this exquisite meal. The only one that's really not excited about it is Margot because she'd rather have a nice hamburger than uh, a Chateaubriand or a Vicious Soir or a small little plate or a science experiment, which a lot of these dishes are basically a science experiment. Ralph Fiennes just has a way of talking about this food that just makes you so interested in it. Um, but he, he, he knows when they all come to the restaurant, they all meet his wacky staff, his cooks, who look like they all came from the Stepford Wives <laughs> movie. <laughs> Everybody is just so flat. And he's flat as well. Devoid of any emotion. Uh, you're going to find out more about these people in that they devote their whole lives through cooking the chef's food. Cooking his menus up. They don't have time to sleep. Hardly have time to sleep. They live on the island. They live in one room where all the uh, workers all live together. It's just really strange. And you find that out early in the film that strange shit's going to happen in this film. You just know it's going to happen. <laughs> and as people are eating the food, slowly and surely, they get to find out what's really going to happen to them when they're on this island and in this restaurant. Because this is a special menu. Not only the things you're going to eat or taste. Remember, it's important to taste your food, not eat. <laughs> but oh yeah. There's some extra stuff going to happen to them as well. Stuff that some know about, but most don't. And you'll find out in the context of this film. A lot of good little twists here and there. Um, I thought, while watching the previews of this film, that cannibalism was going to take a certain part in this. I'm not going to ruin it for you. All right, maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. All right, I'm not going to ruin this for you. Okay. All the performances were spectacular. And the end scene... Um, it, where Ralph Fiennes uh, is uh, talking with Margot, and Margot's like, I don't really like your food. 
and when what happens after is spectacular. Because you find out early in the film that his desire is to truly cook a meal for somebody, which he hadn't done in so many years. The end scene is spectacular. I, I, I just love it. <laughs> I just love the end. One of the greatest endings I've seen in the film in a very, very, very long time. This is a movie you cannot miss. If you like good acting, if you love food, if you like exquisite food, if you've ever been to the French Laundry Restaurant, which is the most exquisite restaurant on the planet in Napa Valley, then you will definitely enjoy the menu. De give it a shot. Everybody's great in this one. Lots of great comedy in this one. Um, <laughs> and um, lots of uh, deceiving plot points here as well. So, um, And... <laughs> Really spectacular. The, the comedic scenes are done so perfectly in perfect time. Like there's a scene where <laughs> the guys are running in the field and trying to escape um, because they were told, Ron and my servers are going to come and catch you. <laughs> in the scene where guys hide and all of a sudden <laughs> one of the workers puts in a dish and says, hi, and he explains the dish to him <laughs> while he's <laughs> handing it to him. <laughs> Freaking Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Great humor in this film. Hopefully I didn't ruin anything for you. I'm trying really not to. This is a 10 out of 10. I'm not even going to say anything else about it. That it's just perfect. Perfect, spectacular film with amazing acting. Great comic points. Um, the death scenes are a lot of fun. <laughs> and a lot of times come out of nowhere. But a lot of times you know what's going to happen. But anyway, definitely check out the menu. It is a great watch. And don't forget to watch those late night horror movies. Read up on your latest Fright Mags. Don't forget to tune in to another episode of a show we call Body Bags. <laughs> I'll be serving a special dish for you. <laughs> Last meal, baby.